In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Good morning, and how are you, my dear students? I am teacher Ala, and we will start a new math period on today, Wednesday, April 29, 2020. In the previous periods, we learned about three different types of charts. The pictograms, the bar charts, and the curl diagrams. We also learned about the Venn diagram and we said that Venn diagram uses circles to help us to sort data into different groups. And we said that the Venn diagram is divided into four different parts. Circle A, Circle B, overlapping between Circle A and B, and the space that is out of both circles. Now we will discuss together pages 147 and 148 in the textbook and we will solve together page 149. Let's start with page 147. Look at this set of shapes and how can we sort them. As you can see, there is an orange star, purple triangle, orange square, blue star, purple square, and orange triangle. We can use the Venn diagram to sort all these shapes into two circles, as we can see here. The first circle has the objects that has the orange color only, which are the rectangle and the star. The second circle has the squares which is the purple square, whereas the overlap between the two circles is both orange and the square, which is this shape. Now, other shapes like the blue star and the purple triangle are not orange and not squares, so they can't be in any of these two circles and they will be out of both circles, as you can see here. They are in the white space. In this example, we have a set of numbers. Let's read them together. 6, 19, 12, 10, 24, 5, 36, 4, 45, 200, 8, and 35. In this Venn diagram, we are going to sort them according to multiples of 2 and multiples of 5. Multiples of 2 like 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on. If you go back to the number sets, you can find that 6 is a multiple of 2, 12 is also a multiple of 2, 10, 24, 36, 4, and 208 are all multiples of number 2, so we can put them in this part of the circle. In the other circle, we want the multiples of 5, like 5, 10, 15, 20, and so on. If you go back again to the set of numbers, you can notice that we have only 5, 45, 235 are multiples of 5. Now, the overlap between the two circles is the common multiples of both, 2 and 5. So, we can put the numbers 4, 6, 8, 12, 24, 36 in this part of the circle as multiples of 2 only. And we can put the numbers 5, 45, and 35 in, as multiples of 5 only in this part of the second circle. And we have the number 200 and the number 10 is common between both, multiple of 2 and multiple of 5. This means that, this means that we can count by 2 to get the number 10 as 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. We can also count by 5 to get the number 10 as 5, 10. Also 200 has this is common multiple between 2 and 5. 
Now, if you go back again to the number set, you can notice that we didn't put the number 19 in any of both circles because it's not a multiple of two, not a multiple of five, and not a common multiple of both two and five. So number 19 has to be out of both circles because it's not a multiple of any. In page 149, we have this example. We have this set of numbers and we are going to sort them in a Venn diagram as multiples of three and even numbers. Let's find out in this set of numbers what numbers are multiples of three. Three is a multiple of three. We can have three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, and so on. So five is not a multiple of three. Twelve is a multiple of three. Also 15, 27, 42 are all multiples of 3, while 40 and 8 are not multiples of 3. Let's write down our answers. Here are the numbers that we found as multiples of number 3. Let's continue the second circle. We want to find the even numbers. Even numbers are the numbers that we can divide by 2 in equal amount. Same like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. So number 3 is not an even number. Number 5 is not an even number. Number 12 is an even number. Number 15, not even. 27, not even. 42 is even. 40 and 8 are also even numbers. Let's write down our answers and continue the question. As you can see now, here are the multiples of 3 and here are the even numbers. You can notice that we have number 12 as both multiple of 3 and even number. We also have the number 42 as both multiple of 3 and even number. So we can just drop the two numbers from both circles and write it in the overlap between both circles. Let's go back to the number set and see which number is missing. Number 3 is a multiple of a 3. Number 5 is not in any circle. Number 12 is common between multiples and even numbers. Number 15 is a multiple of a 3. Number 27 is also a multiple of 3. Number 42 is common between both. And number 40 is, a multi is an even number. And number 8 is also an even number. So only number 5 doesn't belong to any of both circles. So we write it outside of them. This is the end of our unit and the end of our math period for today. Your homework will be page 150 in the textbook. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I am waiting for you to share your answers with me. Hope to see you soon. See you next time and goodbye.